हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन अल्डीहाइड कीटोस एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स पार्ट वन इज ब्रॉट यू बाय एग्जाम फी डॉट कॉम नो मोर फी फ्रॉम एग्जाम द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेसन इज टू नेम अल्डीहाइड कीटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स बेस्ड ऑन देयर आईयूपीसी नेम एंड आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन देयर कॉमन नेम्स विल आल्सो डिस्कस द रिएक्शंस इन्वॉल्व इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ दीस थ्री कंपाउंड्स दैट इज अल्डीहाइड्स कीटोन्स एंड कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड्स We'll also discuss the physical properties of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids, and also we'll discuss the structures of these compounds and how these physical properties are linked to these structures. We'll also discuss the chemical reactions involved in aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids, and we'll describe the uses of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. So mainly. For these three compounds, aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids, we'll talk about the naming convention. We'll talk about the preparation methods. We'll discuss the physical properties and discuss how these physical properties are linked to these structures. We'll discuss the chemical reactions involved for these compounds, and also we'll discuss the uses of these three compounds. Before we even start the chapter, the first question is, what are aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids? Right? We, because the whole chapter is about these three compounds, so. they are all part of carboxyl group they are part of carboxyl group please note they are all part of carboxyl group and the carboxyl group is nothing but the one which has carbon oxygen double bond correct that is something like this c double bond o and the other two bonds it can be anything it can be carbon it can be hydrogen we will we'll talk about this or oxygen right the other two bonds can be carbon hydrogen oxygen nitrogen there are so many options we will explore these things so let's understand all these aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids they are part of they are all having c double o bond right now if in this c double o bond you put at least one as hydrogen it becomes aldehyde for example you take the c double o bond o correct so here you put hydrogen at least one i told right here you put some alkyl group or in both case you put hydrogen both are my aldehyde correct at least one hydrogen so if you see they have at least one hydrogen it says one carbon one hydrogen but that is not the case because scoh is also aldehyde right so you can say at least bonded to at least one hydrogen. correct now if both these bonds have alkyl group instead of hydrogen then it is called keto so if you see in this case both are my r correct the same you take the same co and you have two bonds now in both bond you put some alkyl group it becomes keto carboxylic acids again same thing you take this carbon double bond o now in one you put hydroxyl group here you can put anything you can put h you can put r whatever you like that's matter correct so hope you understand see if all are carboxyl group so in one case you have this carboxyl group you put one has to be hydrogen the other can be hydrogen or r doesn't matter correct this is my aldehyde this case both has to be carbon this becomes ketone and in this case if one is hydroxy group the other can be hydrogen or carbon i don't care that then it becomes carboxylic acid so we'll talk about all these things we'll talk about aldehydes where you have at least one hydrogen bonded to a carbon and carbon is a double bond carboxyl group ketone both the bonds has carbon both are alkyl group carboxylic acid one bond should be oh bond now be, before we move further let's discuss some of the other carboxyl groups for example acyl halides acyl halide you see in this case one of the bond is halogen then we have acid anhydride this is the kind of structure so this is my it has actually two carbonyl 
two carboxyl with the oxygen here and two alkyl group. Easter. So in Easter we have OR here. So if you see in all these, this is common. Correct. And the next is amide. So again you have CO group and in one bond you have NH2 nitrogen. Then it becomes amide. So we have esters, we have amide, we have acyl halide, we have acid and hydride. Please remember these because these are pretty critical. These are the basics to start with acyl halides. So in in my carboxyl group, if we add one attach one halogen to one carbon, it becomes acyl halide. If you add OR dash, this is R is any alkyl, it becomes ester, and if you add NH2 group, it becomes amide. Now we know what are aldehydes, what are ketones, what are carboxylic acids, and other carboxyl groups like acyl halides, acid anhydrides, esters, amides. We know all these things. Now before we even start the chapter, let's study why should we study aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid. You must be knowing, you must be thinking, okay, you, you told me the definition of aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid, but how does it matter to me, right? What impact it is playing in my life? So if you see, you must be eating ice creams, vanilla ice creams and a lot of other flavors ice cream. And you should know that Generally, it's all aldehydes and ketones. For example, this almonds is a benzaldehyde. We'll talk about benzaldehyde. It's, it's a kind of aldehyde. The vanilla flavor which you get is again aldehydes, ketones. A lot of things we eat. There, aldehydes and ketones act as flavoring agent. Right somewhere. flavoring agent. So this aldehydes and ketones act as flavoring agent. The nail polish remover, not the nail polish, but the nail polish remover is nothing but acetone. So if you are a lady, you must be using it or you, if you are a guy, your mom or sisters must be using it. The nail paint remover is nothing but acetone. Right here, this is acetone. Generally. So this is also my ketone. We'll discuss about that acetone also. In the plants and animal kingdoms, we have seen aldehydes and ketones and carboxylic acid also exists a lot. In the biochemical process, aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid plays a critical role. The camphor, the camphor which is used in uh, during puja, that is also ketone and the formula is nothing but C10H10O. This is a ketone actually. The camphor. The paints. In paints, we use this uh, aldehyde ketones. Solvent. If you see, again, acetone is the most popular solvent. In fact, world one by third of the world solvent is nothing but acetone. Then we have perfumes. In perfumes, Aldehydes and ketones are used a lot. Acetophenone is used generally. We will discuss about these things. This is used a lot. In medicines, we used aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids. We use in fabrics. The plastics, a lot of plastic items you see, right? So there also aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids plays a critical role. Correct. Also, dyes, antiseptics, rubbers, Silvering of mirrors, a lot of places, aldehydes and ketones plays a critical role. So you see in our day to day life, the perfume we use, the flavoring agent, the ice cream, the plastics, the material we use, the medicines we use, a lot of things needs aldehyde, ketones and carboxylic acid. So with this, it is a little critical to understand aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids. So with this, thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.